Beyond this arch, nestled in the princely state of Kilimanjaro, is the famous Kilimanjaro Palace, which witnessed the birth of a child prodigy who was named Ravi Varma. He later became famous as artist Raja Ravi Varma, who made proud his birthplace, town, state, and the entire country. The prince among the painters. At a tender age, his talent was recognized by his uncle Raj Raja Varma, who himself was an artist. The rest is history, which the country was going to remember forever. He moved on from Travancore, which is his own kingdom, to be welcomed by many others in India. He was accepted by many kings and connoisseurs with all their love and respect for his talent. He embraced the European styles and techniques of oil painting with ease. He visualized and painted gods and goddesses and gifted that to the people which changed the way they saw their deities. He immortalized many kings and queens, princes and princesses, lords and others through his portraits that are full of life. He could visualize scenes of epics and mythologies and painted them on huge canvas. The characters given in those epics were phenomenally beautiful and very handsome. He also painted brilliant pictures of semi-nude female figures in their seductive mode. And that was not socially acceptable for the pseudo-elites of those days.
he was always ahead of his time he went ahead and established a litho press that produced lithographs and oleographs of gods and goddesses apart from beautiful scenes from the epics and mythologies thus he could produce great images at an affordable rate for the benefit of the masses his style of functioning irritated some sections of the society he even had to fight his own legal battle to win against those people he always dared to swim against the stream he stood firm like a rock against many wrong perceptions about him he proved to the world that a work of art is much beyond people's perceptions about the artist though he had never crossed the shores of india due to some mythical beliefs of those days his paintings traveled across the world and won international recognitions and then when his body refused to move as fast as his mind he came back to the very same place where he was born to spend the rest of his lifetime he left this mortal world on the 2nd of october 1906 after immortalizing places people epics and mythologies to remain the immortal artist raja rivi parma